Hello all, this is John with your technical tidbit of the month for October 2014. When connecting to an independent controller via Ethernet that is not on a specific local area network, you will have to create a static IP address for your PC that correlates to the controller's IP address. If we were to check the connection as of right now, we would be presented with an error. We have to make a static IP address for this PC. This can be done one of two ways using Windows 7. We can search for the Network and Sharing Center in the Search, Programs, and Files bar, or we can right-click on the network icon and open Network and Sharing Center. From here, we will be presented with a series of options in the left-hand side. What we want to do is change the adapter settings. We will be presented with all the connections that are possibly in use. We will right click on the one we are using and change its properties. We are now presented with a menu of items that are in use by this connection. We want to change the properties of Internet Protocol version 4. We double click to open. Instead of obtaining an IP address automatically, we want to establish our own. We will enter the IP address that correlates to that of the controllers. If you can remember, we were using 198, 168, 1, 50. We'll enter our default gateway and hit OK to save. We'll OK through, close our network connections, and if we go to check our communication now, we do have a connection. Thank you for watching this technical tidbit.